Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. So I'm just going to be doing a makeup look today um, and just chatting. I'm not sleeping well, obviously. I'm getting about two hours a night now. Um, but anyway, if you want to see me try out the new Morphe 35TE, tease the season, and just get ready and uh, chit chat, then please keep on watching. So hope y'all are doing well. Um, I'm trying to hang in there. It's kind of kind of hard. Of course, I didn't get a mirror. Let me go grab a mirror real quick. Back. Uh, also grab my uh, tea. Um, but yeah. Um, doing hanging in there, I guess. Um, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Um, I've tried this a few times, and I'm going to be honest, I don't understand the hype of it, but I'm going to give it another try. Oh, look at my pretty earrings. Aren't those pretty? And I'm wearing my Snowflake uh, sweater, but you do need just the tiniest amount when it comes to this. But I'm going to use this, M and look at that. It is full coverage, but I don't know. I feel like it kind of loses its coverage once you try to blend it in and stuff, but maybe I was using it wrong. I don't know. So if you didn't watch uh, Sunday's vlog, yesterday's vlog, uh, my mom passed away a few days ago. Um, she was 64 and uh, she had diabetes and she wasn't taking care of it. Um, she was in a hospice and my twin sister signed a DNR uh, two days before she passed. So, um, but yeah, she died of renal failure. So she had end stage kidney failure. Um, fortunately it is what it is. Um, I am sad about it, but you know, um, yeah. Okay, um, I haven't tried any new Morphe stuff in quite a while, but I got last year's holiday uh, palette, and I did like it. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick too, so I have like a fever and kind of breaking out on my chest, but this is what it looks like. So packaging is super cute, um, and then you do get like four different eye look guides, but it is a pretty neutral palette, and it does have really cute names like... Um, the full package, stocking stunner, wrap star, um, special delivery, um, all wrapped up. So it does have some cute holiday themed, um, yeah. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to be doing. I want to do a red lip. So I guess I'm going to be kind of doing a neutral eye. I think I'm going to go into expertise. It's like a really shimmery, looks like it's a taupe, but maybe a champagne. I don't know. And, uh, try to, yeah, I don't, I was thinking maybe we could do a halo, but I don't really feel like doing a halo today. That's pretty, very pigmented. But hope y'all are doing well. Are you guys ready for the holidays? Um, I just need to wrap Christmas gifts, which I'm not going to be doing till closer, because I don't want them to get ruined. <laughs> you know? You need somewhere to store them, and then, you know, something gets crushed, and it's just not good. But yeah, that's a really, really pretty shade. I do like that. Um, okay, what should we go with now? I'm trying to find a good brush. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go in with um, Undisclosed, the shade right here. It looks a little warm, and then we went in to do, like... A little bit more. Ooh, that is pigmented. That is one good thing about Morphe is that they do have really pigmented shadows. And I guess they're pretty, you know, I've always said, you know, don't get it unless it's on sale, which I still kind of believe. But the way drugstore prices are now, holy Hannah, like, uh, it's ridiculous how expensive drugstore makeup is getting. And like, I got this on sale for 40% off. Um, but I mean, you go to the drugstore and, you know, palettes are 20 bucks, you know what I mean? 
So I used to think ugh, overpriced a little bit, stuff like that, but I don't feel that way anymore with just how expensive everything has gotten, which I understand is just part of part of the deal when you um, are having issues with the economy. So, but that's really pretty. I like it. Let's go ahead and go in with a crease shade. Um, I wanted to go in with Love Morphe. The shade right here, it's a pretty berry. Yeah. So just picking up a little bit on my brush, tapping off excess. It looks scary at first before you blend it and everything, but trust the process, just trust it. So I know probably people are thinking, why aren't you taking time off with your mom just passing away? And here's the thing is I need to stay busy. Uh, when I'm extremely stressed out, if I'm doing nothing, it gives time for my brain to like go off. So me staying busy actually helps with my anxiety, my stress, my sadness, if that makes sense. Just because if I'm just not doing anything, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Um, I've been binging. Unfortunately, it's just part of the deal sometimes. Um, I'm trying to get back on track with that. Um, you know. Okay, I'm blending, 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 just to kind of get that harsh line blended out. And this eye is the troublemaker. This eye is the one that doesn't want to play ball. You see what I mean? Like right here, this side will blend, but this side, uh, it's almost like I need to drag it up some more. I don't like, I guess like this eyelid's drooping a little bit more. So it's kind of hard for it to blend correctly, but. So I need a transition shade. So I think I'm going to go in with Privacy Please. It's kind of a nice peachy shade. I think this will look nice with kind of the warm eye look. So. I am going to take it almost all the way up to the brow. I do have a lot of space between my lid, my upper bone area and my brow. So I do like to make sure that I'm filling kind of that in with color just because it can look kind of cut off. But Okay. Um, I do want to use kind of a shimmery shade underneath the brow, not like with the Wet n Wild Fox. Oh, that was that was intense. So I think I'm gonna go in with Very Revealing, which is the shade right here, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. I'm gonna do my brows here in a minute. Pretty shade though. Okay, I like the eye look. It's kind of basic, which is totally fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away for a minute. So with the horrible under eyes, um, I definitely need to use a corrector. I have two different correctors. Um, I do like the e.l.f. Um, this is the peach corrector, but I also have this She Correcting Palette. It's cheap, so I don't know if this is gonna be too I do like the e.l.f. one, but I kind of want to try this one because it's new. Well, new to me. I haven't used this before. So you have white, purple, green, orange, pink, yellow. So I think I'm going to go in with the orange shade. And, oh, that is waxy AF. But I'm going in. I just want to smell it. No smell, which is surprising. I was expecting it to kind of smell like Halloween makeup. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Okay. No, sorry. You know, you know this video. You know how I roll. I drop things all the time. So I was watching a video about color correcting and you're just supposed to like tap, 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 tap. So it kind of warms up. So I'm going with a tiny bit more. don't know if that really did much. But I'm gonna go ahead 
line and try. I feel like this eye looks better. I don't know about this eye. But, I mean, I definitely think it helped a little bit. I think it will look better once I have foundation and concealer on. Speaking of concealer, I'm going to go back in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And by the way, this is in the shade Vanilla. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit once again, and I'm going to start trying to cover some discoloration before I go in with foundation. So, yep, breaking out, which is always the funnest thing in the world. But, sorry, I'm super chatty once again, trying to keep my brain busy. I'm just going to tap this out a little. So it does have good coverage. Maybe I've just been using it wrong. Looks pretty okay. I'm gonna go to step off camera. I'm gonna hurry up and do my brows and then I'll come back and we'll do foundation and stuff like that. So I'll be right back. They are kind of relatives today. Not perfect, but they're, they're in the same family. You know what I mean? Um, all right, so I have this um, Eloise teardrop brush. I wanted to go ahead and try it with my foundation today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Okay, sorry, I gotta take this off. I don't wanna get foundation on my wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a pump and a half. I don't wanna do too much. I'm trying to do better about not using too much foundation. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it to my face. not going in with all of it so I still have quite a bit on the back of my hand but I don't know it's kind of patchy it's really soft but you know what I mean it looks kind of Patchy. I don't know. We'll just keep blending it in. Does anybody still use their, oh, what is it called? Do I have one in here? You know, like the big like brushes like this and they were super popular for a long time. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, I still have like a full set of them. Um, but don't use them anymore. I need to go through my makeup brushes that I have in my like storage and I need to get that stuff back out. Okay, so it's looking a little better. Just have to keep on blending. I'm gonna go ahead and do it downwards. That way it's laying any baby hairs down. I need to go ahead and like dermaplane again. Okay, so yeah, did end up blending out okay. I'm not gonna use this for underneath my eyes but it did pretty good for around the brows and everything like that, so. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Okie dokie. I have a panty liner here that I'm using to like <laughs> wipe stuff off. Like I just could not be bothered, as you can tell. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the NYX Serum Concealer. And we'll see if we can do some magic here. So, I'm not gonna go in with a ton because this stuff does spread. But I'm gonna go in and save some that's on the back of my hand. Um, wipe it off on the panty light. <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and go in with my little Yale, Yale Twin Puff. Oh my gosh, I look kind of human today. Still can see a lot of discoloration, but it does look better, so. Okay, I changed my mind about the concealer. Maybe I was putting on too much. Maybe I wasn't putting on enough. Maybe I wasn't blending it out good enough. I don't know. 
I'm gonna go ahead just see if we can go ahead put it right here. Okay, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get, honestly. It does look way better. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks better. That's all we can really hope for. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier. This is the um, translucent loose setting powder. This is the one that's like talc free. Um, it is a nice powder. I just don't use my high end stuff very often. It's not like I'm trying to save it or anything. I just, I prefer my drugstore stuff, honestly. But I don't know. I'm gonna rub it together like you're supposed to do. And set this. I'm going to use the same powder uh, on the rest of my face. So. So my mom is not getting a funeral. Um, it's just, I'm in Utah. My twin sister's in Pennsylvania. I have one in Minnesota. So what we're gonna be doing is this summer, coming up summer, we are gonna get together and spread her ashes. So she is being cremated. Feel bad that she's not getting a service, but at the same time, it's like, it is what it, it would just be us kids. You know what I mean? She was a very private person. So, um, but, Anyway, okay, so I feel like everything's set. Looks nice. Uh, I think the complexion does look pretty nice, honestly. So, no complaints. Um, I was worried about the brush, but I actually think it did a good job. Powder everywhere. Okay. So, I do have a kind of face palette, but it doesn't really have, like, a real blush color in it. Um, I guess maybe, but they're all pretty, like, that's a highlighter. That's a highlighter. So we're gonna use this as a highlighter, but I did grab a blush just in case, and I'm glad I did. Um, so I grabbed the e.l.f. Luminous um, Blush and Radiant Peach. I think this will look pretty. I feel like it has a ton of color. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe the shimmer's like throwing me off. Because it is pretty shimmery. But. Okay. And that's about as good as we're going to get. I don't want to do too much just because I don't want it to like get too shimmery on the face. Let's go ahead and go in with this highlighter palette. And that's kind of pretty. Going with that. Yeah, I'm going to go in with this shade. go ahead and finish off the under eye and I think I'm going to go back into um, which one did I use undisclosed I think that's the one I used or did I do now presenting it looks like undisclosed I don't remember that was like 
10 minutes ago. I don't remember. Just to smoke this out a little bit. It's pretty. I'm gonna go back in with that expertise, the one that's on the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on my inner corner. really pretty. Why not? Alrighty, so what I'm going to be doing is picking stuff up off the floor because I drop everything. So I am going to go ahead and step off camera and I'm going to do finish off my brows with the NYX Brow Glue and this is in the uh, dark brow medium brown shade. And then I'm also going to be putting on some mascara. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk push-up lashes. When I get back, um, I want to try the new Ardell, well new to me, Magnetic Mega Hold. Um, I have two different styles here. Um, nope, they're the same. Oh well. Um, but it's in 053. So anyway, I might have to put on, oh, let's just, whatever. I think I actually need to put this on before I even do my mascara. So let's just turn the pot on the, um, the magnetic liner. Yeah, these were at Dollar Tree. I was pretty surprised, honestly, just because, you know, I got the Ardell water lashes. I haven't tried those yet, though, but I do like magnetic lashes just because they are a little easier for me than the regular. Um... Wow, that is so tiny. So this is the liner. Oh my goodness. I thought it was going to come with like a full size one. Oh well. You can get magnetic liner on Amazon or whatever. Finally. Oh, that reminds me. My mom used to say, don't use your teeth. They're not tools. And that is true. Okay, so it's like a little spatula almost. Ooh, this is gonna be not fun. Okay, let's go ahead and... If I remember correctly, you need to do like multiple coats. So now I'm going to step off camera. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my brows. I'm going to do like three coats of this uh, magnetic liner and then uh, mascara and everything like that. I'll come back. We'll pop on the lashes, finish off the look with some lipstick, but I'll be right back. So I'm waiting for my mascara to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my lips. Um, I'm going to be using the Foxtrot lip liner in Red the Scene um, just to line my lips real quick. That's about as good as I can do, honestly. I suck at lip liner. I'm trying to do better. I'm going to be going in with the Profusion Glitzy Pout Sparkling Lip Topper in Folly. Um, I thought this was going to be really, really pretty. It's like a light red. It's not too much. Good enough. Just for the life of me, I cannot get my lips even. I don't know why. Um, mascara is dry. I'm gonna go in with the um, Ardell Magnetic Lashes now. That liner was a little difficult. I'm gonna be real honest. Okay, they're on. It's on. I 
looks pretty nice. So yeah, I think they look pretty nice. Um, easy to apply, they feel very much on there. Like, yeah. So, and I think they're pretty, they're not too much. You can still see the eye look, it just adds a little bit of something to the look. Um, so, I really, really like this palette. It's very neutral, so if you have shades like this, I wouldn't bother picking it up, but it is really, really pretty. Um, I, I do like it. It's pigmented, easy to blend. I didn't have any fallout, so I do like this a lot. Um, I changed my mind on the NYX um, Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I think it did a really good job. Under eyes are still looking pretty dark, but it's way better than it was. I was very surprised by the She um, Correcting Concealer Palette. Um, kind of waxy, but as long as you go in with your finger and tap, 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 and let it melt into the skin, I think you're good to go. Um, I did like the Eloise brush. Um, as you saw at first, it was a little bit patchy, but I think it did do a good job. So, yeah, um, there's nothing that I used that I really didn't like. Um, I think it, the look turned out really, really pretty. It's a little bit holiday but it's not too much, you know what I mean? So I do think it's really, really nice. So anyway, there we go. That is today's video. I hope you did enjoy. I'm sorry that it was so long. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments, are you doing holiday makeup yet? Uh, what is your go-to? Is it a little bit extra liner, a red lip? Love to know down below. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week, all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty, vlogs, hauls, home care, cooking from time to time. So make sure that you do subscribe, but I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start on a plane here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see you all here in just a sec.